What's up everyone? I'm trying to do a uh, quick video of a project that I'm working on. It's uh, basically I've set up, uh, uh, well my, my tech requirements were to have a centralized backup spot in my uh, home network as well as a media streaming service. So somewhat of a NAS server that supports uh, centralized backup as well as um, uh, media streaming service. So this is a, a computer that I've uh, basically built from uh, scratch here and then some new pieces and some old pieces but it's uh, I'll annotate the video here with the model numbers and things but this is a Corsair mid tower uh, I think it's the 600 series case. So it's uh, it's a newer one and the side opening panels and one of my requirements was that just wanted a lot of drives in one spot and I could have one large drive instead of um, you know one, the appearance of one large drive instead of having to deal with separate drives in themselves so better management etc um, I'm not into RAID that much because most of this is just backup I don't need um, fault tolerance and high availability. I just want uh, two copies of most of my files on my network somewhere. Um, so I like this case because I could stack up all my drives over in this tower over here. And uh, basically it holds up to nine drives. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, uh, stacked up but um, you know there's I have eight in here right now I could uh, put some more in here with some with some better uh, bindings but my uh, motherboard it uh, it's a MSI new motherboard as well and it supports uh, basically nine SATA ports and that's kind of where I'm at with that and so the motherboards new it does again nine points the, the memory is new I got 8 gigabyte memory which um, I got the lower speed but it's DDR3 it's an old crappy video card that I'm not really um, you know, I, I didn't need a powerful one for this computer um, let's see the uh, chip is an Intel 3 series it's not the new Sandy Bridge version, but it's 64-bit, uh, 3 Series. Again, I'll mend the video with the actual details. And you can see there's a lot of card holders in this uh, board and lots of room here. So, And I got the Cooler Master 700-watt uh, power supply. I had to buy that as well. Okay, what else can I think of here? The board and the case also supports USB 3, but I'm not running any of that right now. So I have about, uh, with all these drives, some of them were new and most of them were old. All of them, except for one, I believe, uh, are uh, SATA drives. And I had an old uh, DVD player I stuck in there. They didn't need to be uh, the latest and greatest on that. Okay, there's a little component plug-in on top there. So that's the computer. In a minute, I'll I'll switch over and tell you more about what's on the computer. All right, thanks. Okay, so. This is a continuation of my uh, backup and media server video here. What I'm now showing you is what I installed on the server, the computer. I installed free Fedora 14 uh, Linux. It's a uh, graphical based um, and uh, I put on the, uh, let's see here this. So it's Fedora 14 and put on most of the common packages and I'm not ultra techie, and uh, but I have had some past Linux experience playing around mainly. Um, I'm not a command line guy at all. Um, actually, horrible with command line, but uh, 
you know, you tend to, I, I, you can work through it pretty easily. Uh, installation with this is, it is amazingly easy. So just check out some other videos or Google it, but this, installing this thing is, is easy. Uh, doing the later configurations around exactly what you want to do, that's where it gets you know, fairly tricky, but it's not necessarily more tricky uh, than with Windows or Mac. So what I'm showing you here is basically my drive structure. Uh, you know, what I'm doing is using Logical Volume Manager to have the appearance of a single drive within uh, within uh, Linux here, rather than having mappings of different, you know, nine to 10 drives. I can move storage around. I can add drives when needed. I can remove drives. Before I, one of the reasons I chose Linux was it did exactly what I wanted to do. I started out with FreeNAS. FreeNAS was very simple. Again, easy to install, lightweight. It was fast. All my computers in the house recognized it very easily through uh, mapping or, or uh, SMB. But uh, I couldn't add storage to it without rebuilding everything. I couldn't make any major changes to the drive structures without having to rebuild everything. And that just uh, that would automatically kill it for me. So. I am now using, again, Fedora 14. So what I'm doing is, uh, so you have all the drives here. I have uh, about 9.3 terabytes in my virtual group. Okay, let me show you a little bit more about the virtual group, one second. Okay, not really a whole lot much to see here, but I'm using the Logical Volume Manager management tool within Fedora. Ubuntu and other flavors of Linux have this, but it's can be more command line oriented. Fedora just comes delivered with this uh, GUI package for LVM, which is another reason why I chose Fedora over Ubuntu. I also tried that out and it had some advantages around media streaming that Fedora doesn't, uh, but uh, the management of it was not as good as uh, Fedora here for what I wanted to do. So, not much to see again, but on the top left side you can see drive A through H as a physical view of uh, the drives, and then down below, logical view, how many drives do you have assigned to a certain volume, or, or home, okay? So, home, you know, I have 7.7 .7 terabytes here, just to show you physical view. This is getting kind of techy here, but shows me unallocated volumes, partitions that I could allocate, underutilized ones. So it's pretty uh, powerful. I have to say that I haven't cracked all the riddles yet around how to how to use some more of the advanced features, but um, so far so good. I have my NAS directory. That's what I did. I just basically set up a, a NAS directory underneath the, you know, just under the, the users directories in Linux here, and uh, enable to uh, just kind of map to uh, that particular single uh, drive structure anywhere in the house. So. So here I am mapped from Windows 7 to the Linux server. Um, I'm using SMB to do that, which uh, is the tool to be used between Linux and uh, Windows for data sharing. And uh, basically you can see that all those drives are appearing as a single capacity amount. So. I have some unallocated drives going on, but 7.45 terabytes is the view that I have uh, within Windows. Um, I'm using a lot of it, and free space I have about two terabytes. Okay, it's basically because I have uh, every computer in the house going 
to uh, be backed up to that uh, that computer. So, um, pretty cool. I have a director for movies, audio, pictures, etc. Um, so that's that.